Hey y'all, welcome to I suppose part three of this. So surfaces from feature lines and understanding the mid or the distance when you uh when you when you create those. So let's go ahead and what we're gonna do is we're gonna we have uh some curb feature lines. We have low line, top curve, back curve. We're gonna add this into our surface with a break line and we're gonna create a surface from it. So two things so creating surfaces from feature lines so we're going to add them in as a break line and then the second thing is understanding the mid ordinate distance within surface break lines so what does that mid ordinate distance mean if i leave it as default what's that going to do with my surface especially around the curb islands so to speak that curvature and how that mid ordinate distance impacts it all right bounce into civil so i'm in 2023 but keep in mind it's an age old age old thing so what we have here is we have a couple feature lines so full line top curve back curve what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, we're gonna create a surface from this. So let's go ahead and create a surface. We'll this call this parking. Leave everything as is. Say okay. And parking. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our definition. We're gonna add in our break line. So right click, add, and we'll call this parking. Give it a generic name. Type standard. Standard means they break lines have their elevations associated with them. And we could weed here, but we won't we'll leave it all as is. Remember, we had a lot of points with that feature line. So mid order distance, one foot. Let's see what this does. And we're gonna do it again afterwards. Hopefully it doesn't take too long based on all the points of the feature line. So one foot, and we'll say, okay. I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna grab my three, boom, and boom, and boom, and enter. And now we have my surface created. Let's go ahead and select my surface. Boom, boom, select it. Crack it open in object view, see what we're working with here. All right, now notice. Looks pretty good, actually. So we have our curbs right here. There's our surface defined from the brake lines. But notice here, this is, so this is when we get into our mid-ordinate distance right here. So if we get in here, notice on the curvature, it's doing, it's like skipping like this. Boom, 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 boom. That's because the mid-ordinate distance is set to one foot, so along a curve. So what we're going to do is let's make it 0.01, the lowest number we can do when we recreate this surface. So bouncing out, boom, boom. Go ahead and select our break lines here, parking. I'm just going to delete them. And let's go ahead and rebuild our surface first here. Now we're going to go ahead and add these in again. So add them in. And we'll just call this parking, same thing. The only thing we're changing here is making this 0.01. 0.01. Okay. And then boom, boom, and boom. Surface, right click, we're gonna select it, crack this open. All right, so very similar looking. But just take note, if we go in here, we see we have a nice curve now. That's, so that's our mid order distance, how it impacts it. So 0.01 was what you can do, but it really impacts things on the curvature. So. And you know, and having that nice smooth curve versus having those bumps that we were seeing with a one foot uh, bit order distance. So hopefully you find this interesting. So just to kind of sum things up, feature line, off stepped offsets to create the you know curve properties. Then added that feature line as a break line to create our proposed surface. So now we have a parking lot that we have in here, and then we can uh, you know now we're getting uh, now we're getting closer to our design. So I uh, appreciate the time and uh, have a great rest of your week.